say that the rest of the council meeting will work. If you'll stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, all of our own.
like to say. Do you have another amendment, Ms. Tran? Yes, I do. Um, the, the meeting minutes doesn't record the concern during the discussion before approving the meeting minutes. And um, I talk about the inconsistent method of the recording and several misrecording sections in the meeting minutes for the meeting on October 20, uh, October 25th. Two discussions happened in the same meeting. One discussion lasts longer or recorded for the less detail than the one happened for a shorter period of time. I assume that's a motion. Do I hear a second for the motion? That's for the opening uh, topic of the discussion. It's not on the main motion. Would you care to make a motion, Ms. Tran? I'm making a, an amend motion to add the detail of the first discussion about the have about the tour center and the comment to, and the question to the potential investor whether he knew the limitation of the parking space at the location. Yes, sir. Carrying on the motion service. Do you have another amendment, Mr. Chairman? I do. I'm, go um, I'm going to present the, uh, the topic first, then I will make the amendment motion. So, the meeting, a minute draft doesn't record it. The, I stated that the city trying to calculate the amount city paid to the contractor out of the contract term. The city manager asked for council trans input regarding the sanitation system. There was not any investigation, nor the finance committee have any meeting from the day it's established. Would any council uh, get the input whether they want to add that? Mr. Chairman, you made your statement. You have a motion. Okay. I'm calling for an amend motion to add the following verbatim language into the meeting minutes on November 8th. Um, to state that council just stated that the city trying to calculate the amount city paid to the contractor out of the contract terms. The city manager asked council Tran input regarding the sanitation system. There were no investigation, nor the finance committee ever had a meeting since the day established until the day it dismissed. Do I hear a second? Hearing that motion fails. Do you have another motion, Ms. Kessler? I do, and um, it's appear that none of the council uh, member would were interested in uh, the discussion. The matter of fact, the notes have been sent to uh, the city manager, the mayor, and among the, uh, all the council members. So I'm going to make um, the amend motion to add this following verbatim language to the Meeting minutes for on October on November eight. When the mayor will call in for the first and second motion to open the motion to vote, Council Jen had already let the mayor know she was going to make the amend motion, and the mayor told her to wait. Got your second. Hearing none, motion to vote. Do you have another motion, Mr. Chairman? Um, that's all I have. Thanks. Right. And you mentioned the work session. The work session, it doesn't have the time that I'm entering the meeting minute, uh, the, entering the work session. Is that a statement? Uh, I'm raising that concern to the council. Yes, it is a statement. Do you have a motion? 
I'm making a man, uh, an emotion, a man motion to add the time council train entering the the work section on the meeting <coughs> November eight, two thousand twenty-two. Do you have the time in mind? You're on the phone. I don't have the. I don't. I have not golden track that. Do I have a second? Motion fails for lack of a second. Any other motions, Mr. Hanker? That's it. On the executive session, any amendments there? Mm -hmm. okay. On all three, we've had a motion, we've had a second. All those in favor say aye. Ms. Snow? Aye. Ms. Dean? Aye. Mr. Bob? Aye. And Ms. Tran? May the meeting minutes didn't reflect what happened and misstate what happened. All right. As stated earlier, we've got we got two resolutions. Obviously, we have a lot of discussion in the work session. One repeals an existing ordinance and one passes a new ordinance. I don't want to repeal an ordinance and not be assured that there would be an effective policy in place. So I'm going to ask for the council's consideration on resolution 2206 first, and assuming, depending on how that vote goes, we'll then address 2205. So this is a resolution to amend and adopt an updated social media policy for the city, which I think we spent at least 45 minutes on. Do I hear a motion to approve? So Do I hear a second? Second. Motion probably second. Any additional discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Ms. Knight. Aye. Ms. Dean. Aye. Mr. Kwok. No. Ms. Strang. May the information be given in very short period of time. Uh, council is not informed and not ready to vote. Mayor's going to vote with the affirmative. Motion passes. Going back to the original 2205, which would now be an outdated ordinance. Do I hear a motion to approve, to repeal, or take out the existing ordinance and basically leave in the 2206, which you just passed? So moved. Do I hear a second? Second. All those in favor say aye. Mm -hmm. Ms. Dean. Aye. Ms. Knight. Aye. Ms. Tran. Nay, the exhibit A that is the main accent of the resolution will give in to me. At the time of sitting down for as at the time at the at the meeting, so I will not inform to make to cast my vote. And Mr. Clark. No, um, I have a reason. Uh, I'm not agreeing to the additional um, element that added to the new resolution. We're going to vote the affirmative. The old resolution has not expired. Ordinance 2208 uh, to amend the code of ordinances, revise Title IX licensing and regulation of alcoholic beverages as defined by the city manager in the board session. Do I hear a motion to approve? Please, Mayor. I'm sorry. When we the first meeting. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. I guess we don't have to approve most of that. Um, all right, that's it. General comments. Comments from the audience. The first, first reading is open for the hearing. Uh, I don't think there's any support. Um, it is required. The first reading is required to hear it. I think it's just the first reading. It's the first reading. It's the first reading. Okay. Um, comments from the audience. You've enjoyed yourself. Mr. Collins. Hey, the Mayor of Council. Says, first of all, I want to thank the city for their support uh, Veterans Day program back on November the 11th. The weather thought it was going to dampen the program, but it didn't happen. And uh, I just want everybody to know how appreciative DFW Post 5080 is for your support of veterans in this community. And we're proud to partner with you, and we're going to forever be partners in this city. Secondly, because of uh, the police chief joined our post. I'm a life member. So uh, my post on 
Tuesday, gave me a check to present to the police department for the toys. What did the cops have done? The cops with toys. Shop for the cops. Shop for the cops, yes, sir. Yes. Well, so I'm going to give it to Lieutenant Skelton here. And if you'll pass it on, that's a little donation from us to help bring some kids Christmas. So we appreciate it. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Uh, okay, so that we we can update on the equipment in the park. Um, this is going to be the first time that we the, we're going to play a a full feature movie out there because after we own the uh, LED wall, um, and so the movie title is uh, Polar Express. So <laughs> just buckle up and just uh, come out there and enjoy the movie with us. The the movie is starting at uh, 5:30. And it will display on the billboard. So hopefully, we encourage uh, you know the people and children to come out to the Christmas in the park and enjoy the movie book with us. And then also the rest of the uh, um, the Christmas program uh, throughout the night. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the legalities, please, because we oh, do then, have copyright for that. <laughs> and that doing, so. Oh, and um, well, I know public work been working really hard on uh, decorate the light out there. So this year is going to be very very different. Uh, you can drive through the highway, the interstate. I mean, you can see a lot of light, uh, even uh, from uh, the the, uh, the circle of the mall. Uh, so the, just you know, just come out and uh, have a hot chocolate or so, and uh, and have fun with us. So. And, and Brian, we will obviously have Santa Claus in the greenhouse, which was where we had the um, haunted house. <laughs> what has not been published tremendously, though. Is in one of the side rooms. We will also have the Grinch. Um, and, no. and, uh, so depending on, on whether you've been uh, interested in that or not, uh, maybe you can get your picture with the, uh, the opposing side. Uh, of that. Thank you. Comments from the council. I got one. Oh, oh I'm crazy. sorry. He jumped up. <coughs> I'm sorry. I have to go back to the last meeting when 30 minutes of my life just kind of disappeared for people talking. And uh, when we started, Ann was on the phone. And I don't know if you knew who was sitting here in this audience or not, but we were giving uh, recognition to the college people and the, the kids from the elite school for helping us at Safe Halloween. And I don't know when you started your deal uh, during the work session, about the minutes as usual, that you realized that they were in the room. But it kept going on. I lost 30 minutes of my life. Uh, and at the very end, when everybody was making their comments, you started over again with continuing from the previous discussion. And you set a very bad example for those kids. They were sitting over there snickering. They couldn't believe that this was going on. This is a city council meeting. and. I don't blame them. I will laugh too. Because it makes no sense. Just on and on and on, drawn and on. And tonight we've lost another 30 minutes plus time uh, with going over the same thing over and over and over again. And if you don't have time to read some of this stuff, leave work early is all i got to say. You, you ran for the job. Uh, other council members don't seem to have a problem with not getting it read. And they work too. Uh, I mean, it's just got no, what, two people walked, got up and walked out. Nobody comes anymore, and I don't blame them. So, some of this crap needs to stop. Thank you. Any other comments? Comments from the council. Let's we'll start with Ms. Trent. No comment. Mr. Quaff. Um, just, um, just wanted to say something on the record that um, we are not going, with, you know, wherever we are possibly not going to eliminate the, the common function on C Facebook. I want to put that on the record. Thank you. And, and one of the, I'm going to go out here just saying, so, um, uh, Lieutenant Skelton actually is the mediator moderator for the 
police department page. I think he's getting a little bit of a rock star image. It, it seems to be a, a little bit entertaining because we lock up some bad guys for doing stupid stuff, you know, and some of it's pretty serious stupid stuff. Um, not all the comments that are made, you know, are relevant, but and just just speak to the the seriousness of what you write, but also the comments you get. Just as a, a feedback section, and my understanding is, is you're going to be moderated for this page, and that page will continue. Right? Okay. Um, last year, um, September to November, we only had about four thousand visits to the Facebook page, with a reach of around sixty thousand. Um, since the new administration has come in and has basically revamped our Facebook page. Um, we've gotten a reach of a quarter of a million people in the same September to today time frame over last year. Um, as long as it's monitored, we get, we do get trolls. Um, not everybody's a police supporter, but it also gives us the opportunity to answer back, maybe to correct some of this information that, that people might think they know about state law, about the city of Morrow. Um, one of our recent posts was about a gentleman at South Lake Mall who was seen doing a hand-to-hand -hand drug transaction. Well, he volunteered a little bit of marijuana, um, which in the state of Georgia is still illegal. Uh, the Libertarian Party, the Libertarian Party, the National Party, came on the Facebook page and within minutes we had 300 some odd comments. And you try to go through and answer everybody, but we were able to get our message out, look, this is the Libertarian National Party, but here in Morrow, marijuana is still illegal. It's still legal federally. It's still illegal at the state level. And you do the crime, you're going to have to do the time. So with that engagement um, comes the trolls, like I said, but it also comes with a lot of thank yous. We appreciate what you're doing for us. Um, policing is a thankless job. Uh, a lot of the guys on the road don't get to hear thank you very often. So when they can go home after a long shift and read some of the thank yous, it makes it feel a little bit better and it, it boosts them around. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, I, I want to, um, to clear uh, something out that I'm, I, you know, of course I understand that um, we're going to have a ruling uh, regulation on social media, that's, you know, some of that is the federal law. We're going to comply with that and bad comment or whatever, uh, discrimination or whatever, that's that, got it. But I, I want to stay clear, I have no problem with, you know, uh, blocking the bad guy or whatever. But just want to make sure that we are not going to eliminate the common function. That, that's all I'm on. I'm, I'm saying it over and over. That's all. Thank you. Mr. Um, yes, thank you. Um, Mr. Collins, I'd um, also like to say that the veterans program that you and the other um, staff members, along with the city manager, it, it was heartfelt. It, veterans Day is dear, near and dear to my heart. And so I appreciate that it was. Um, done with taste, dignity, and respect for our veterans, and I appreciate that. Also, um, to our staff, police department, you know, I love you. And I'm sure uh, citizens feel the same way. Um, the things that, that, that are going on that you all have to deal with is mind-blowing. So um, I just want to say, you know, thank you to you. and. Um, I feel safe living in the city of Norm because of you. Um, Public Works, Brandon, you sit there and you guys, you're awesome because you help uh, with the face of our city. Your, your guys and ladies are the face of the city, you know. And uh, I'm proud to say that, uh, you know, I'm starting to see, you know, little dirt wiped off the cheeks here and there. and. You know, we're, we're looking, you know, much better. And uh, I appreciate that and pass it on, you know, to the staff. And, and uh, uh, hope to see good things going forward. 
um, to my peers, um, I would just like to say that um, I recommended to the mayor and city manager that we have a retreat because I recognized that we were not functioning as a team. And um, I hope that the retreat, I had hoped that the retreat would bring us together and understand what it means to be on a council and working for the people and for the government. We do not have personal agendas uh, as a council member because we took an oath. And because we took an oath, that oath dictates to us our platform. And I am a very, I guess you could say, old-fashioned when it comes down to oaths of office and also how I treat my fellow man. Um, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Uh, it's something that was taught for generations in my family. I'm on this council to serve, and that is what I do, and that is what I expect from my fellow council members no less, to serve the city and people of the city. Uh, everyone knows I'm 71 years old, soon to be 72. I would not be doing this if I did not care about the city in which I live. And I've been involved with the city uh, almost from the first time that I decided to move here because this is where I plan to spend my life. So, wasting time um, whatever you want to call it, we should be first and foremost working for the city to make the city progress, working for our citizens to provide the best services that we can. And uh, hope that we will, at some point, be a team. That is my hope. Thank you, Mayor. Yes, Mayor, could I have a comment? Uh, um, Ms. Knight. Oh, she had not. No comments. You want to finish up, Ms. Knight? Well, uh, thank you, uh, Council uh, Dorothy Dean, for sharing your thought and how respectful, how serious you are taking the job with an oath. Our oath saying, I, I think it's supposed to be the same. The oath that I took when I get into the office is I will be at my best ability to protect the city law, the state law, and the constitution to, and to protect the city. And that oath is a guidance for me on every decision that I make for the city. And talking about that tonight, um, the two decisions that we make about social media uh, policy, we have a section to where we remove the public comment, which is the freedom of the speech on the uh, social media uh, form. It's not something that we're supposed to do um, as elected officials and government because we are spending their tax dollars. They have the right to tell us what it is, because they are our stakeholder. And that right is not even protected by any of individual of us, but it is protected by the Constitution. So just respect that. Um, and uh, the council retreat, we did have, we did come to agreement that the council members should be get, having the information a week before the council meeting. The retreat happened for so many months. We have it written in the retreat report, but why is that we're not having this practice? Why is that tonight we all the council have to sit here starting to read the new policy that we go to pass? It should have been us, council being provided the information way before the meeting so we can uh, clearly and be informed to vote. Um, so I would like to see that practice 
soon come in place because that is something we all agree to do. And uh, the holiday is coming, so I hope everybody have a grateful and pleasant Thanksgiving. Have fun with your family. It's the one um, occasion of the year. You can eat so much and you're not going to worry about anything. So happy Thanksgiving to everyone. I could have a long list, but you're all tired. We'll call it a day. Good night.